At this point in our service, normally we have our news and notices. So those of you who don't belong to any of our congregations, you just might want to skip to the final hymn. Or you might want to stay and find out what we get up to. Or rather, what we don't get up to at the moment, because so many things have been cancelled. So for our parishioners, just assume that nothing is happening of the usual weekday stuff. But if there's something you suspect might still be on, just give me a phone and check. Pastoral care will be given entirely by telephone, by me, but you're probably aware that Councillor Bailey, I mentioned him in passing in the sermon, has begun a new group, quite a large group, of community volunteers to help with anything that might be needed throughout the Cars all the way along to Perth. If you go onto Facebook and look for Cars Community Volunteers, you will find that site there and that will give you the opportunity either to give help or to receive it. In terms of services, we will be providing a weekly service like this for as long as we need to. Very diplomatically, we're going to do it in alphabetical order. So next week, the service will be conducted entirely by Mrs Elwell Sutton, who gave our readings today, and she'll be recording that in Inchure Church, and that will give you a chance to see the wonderful renovation that we did there. At this time of year, of course, there are some extra services, and so those will come and go a little bit. We don't think we're going to manage a Monday-Thursday communion. That might be a little bit uh, ambitious, but we are intending to have a Good Friday uh, service, a contemplative service, It may, in fact, be part of a series involving other people, but you will be able to find it on this channel uh, by itself, if nothing else. We won't attempt to do our monthly night prayer. For those of you who know what that is, at the moment we'll resume that when we can. But as you know, it's a very responsive kind of prayer, so it wouldn't really work in this format. Just one other intimation, uh, and I'll just use the... Christian name here because I have absolutely no idea how GDPR works on YouTube videos. But you will know whom I mean if I say that this week we are saying goodbye to one of our elders, Ewan, as he prepares to move house to uh, just slightly too far away to be coming back to Inchature where he is uh, an elder. Ewan has been the most fantastically energetic presence, especially on the social side of our congregational life and allied to that very much the fundraising side. He has really been an injection of energy there. I know he'll miss doing that and we will massively miss having him there. So we wish him and Des uh, safe moving at a time when it must be a bit difficult to move house and happiness in uh, their new home.